Do's and don'ts for reciprocating traffic to promote your blog. Some mockingly call it as the mutual admiration society and wherein people praise and link to each other in order to generate traffic. No matter how way you look at it, reciprocating traffic works not just for promoting websites, but blogs as well. Here are several do's and don'ts to take note of if you're in the mood for sharing some love with your fellow bloggers. How to reciprocate traffic for blog promotion. Reciprocating is easier than you think. You just have to take note of what other bloggers are doing for you and return the favor. Of course, you can also consider initiating things by being the first to post a comment, include a link in your directory, respond with a blog entry, or review another blog. As long as what you're doing places focus on you and the other blogger, you're doing the right thing. Make your reciprocation valuable. If you are going to reciprocate a favor, be sure to make it valuable and meaningful for the other blogger. It would simply be a waste of web space if all you're going to say is hi and goodbye. If that's what you're going to do, it's best not to reciprocate at all. To make reciprocation valuable, consider which areas you can make the greatest contributions, pages which, even better, the other blogger would appreciate to gain more traffic for. Look for questions that coincide with your fields of expertise. Make it mutually beneficial. Reciprocity is not merely an exchange of links. It also includes mutual acknowledgement, and maybe even recommendation, of each other's expertise. When you post a comment or display a link in your website, make sure that the information you provide not only reflects positively on the other blogger, but on yourself as well. Pay attention to house rules. Reciprocation means visiting another person's blog and as they say, when in Rome, it's important to do as the Romans do. Every blog has its own set of house rules and you must pay attention to them. One example of house rules is the inclusion of links in your comments. Some bloggers prefer not to have any links displayed without their express permission. Acts of rudeness commonly result from simple misunderstanding and ignorance of rules. If you're unsure about your statement, you can always email the other blogger and ask for confirmation as to whether your reply is adequate or not. Don't be condescending. It's easy to be so without even being aware of it. When you are visiting a blog that's less popular than yours, don't act or speak in such a way that you've made it very clear to everyone the other blogger should be grateful for your little act of reciprocation. That's a big no-no to do and you're sure to receive unpleasant feedback even if it's true. Such things are better left unsaid. Always return the favor. Last but not the least, remember to return every favor you receive. This is the golden rule of all golden rules, and to violate once or several times is something that no internet marketer forgets. Soon, tales of your infamy will spread, and you shouldn't be surprised if the popularity of your blog starts declining. Regardless of how much or how little you'll benefit from reciprocating the favor, do it anyway. It's called good business. For more content like this, please visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by All Super Info. All rights reserved. Discover the proven formula for automated sales and success that you can apply to your business in under 30 minutes. Reserve your seat at allsuper.info slash webinar.